hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are going to see how we can use some of the custom models from gpt for all and use some of the components in um, langchain and how to build a effective custom information retrieval mechanism so first of all uh, what exactly is this gpt for all so gpt for all is actually uh, providing it's, it's more like a uh yeah it's it's kind of an ecosystem which has like a lot of powerful open source lang large language models so you can actually visit their website and see like they have some really pretty stuff where like we can actually run all these open source llms in our uh, personal machine actually we don't even need a gpu or anything because uh, the model is actually downloaded into our machine and then it's being used so like pretty much how we use uh, like exactly how we can use chat gpt for all the purposes we can use it in our custom local environment and you can actually download this one based on your uh, os and it, it's pretty straightforward and there are like a lot of awesome models as well like which is fine-tuned on different data sets which has like good benchmark uh, so a lot of models are actually like llama is there then uh, falcon and alpaca dolly like a lot of variants are actually there and uh, like uh, it's actually being compared against text da vinci which is like the open ai's model and uh, it can be used for like a lot of purposes like we can even custom train we can use it for our chat we can use it for building our data store whatever it is so uh you can actually see like different models here like it, it is actually giving us a card and there is a download button as well where we can download this model ideally so it's ideally downloading this dot bin file and for our purpose i'm actually um, using uh, an embedding model actually so I'm, I, I have downloaded like different models but for this purpose i'm actually using a embedding model so let me just reduce the size and show you which model I am. so i'm actually going to the screen size is a little less <laughs> that's why it is actually not loading it so all mini lm version is there which is like the like s word sentence transformer model actually like and this this model can be actually used it use it for our purpose as well here. so this is the model which we are going to use and you can simply uh, download this model and once you download this model uh, i would suggest you actually place in this folder actually so you need to actually place it in like c users then your uh, your personal uh, drive wherein like there will be a dot cache folder and then there is a gpt for all folder so let me just show you how it is so let me just take you to this folder so this is my C drive and I'm going into the users, then my folder, then we have cache and then there is a folder called GPT for all. So once you get in there, you can actually see different models. So I have downloaded some different models actually from this um, model explorer. So, so I've downloaded some models here and you can actually see like Orca is there then nows then mpt7b recent model actually like it's pretty good the instruct version there is also a chat version but all these models are pretty huge <laughs> it is 44.5 gb 7 gb 6.8 gb then this is small this is 1.8 gb so all these models are more like question answering like like exactly like how chat gpt or like it's it's an instruction based like we can actually give some instruction and it will kind of return these are all llms actually so now we can uh, we can use this all mini lm it's a small model actually it's, it's hardly 43 mp and with this we can actually uh, use it for our use case so so for this demonstration purpose i have actually uh, collated some data uh, from Marvel data store and I have it in this Excel file. So 
uh, it's it's more about uh, thor the character from marvel comics and this is where we are actually going to run this entire code so so we'll be using langchain components actually and langchain is such a powerful framework and like it it provides integration with a lot of items actually you can actually see like it it has integrations with like lot of components and it's pretty huge like can't think about it like you can actually see the list of items here it it has integration with so many stuff like pdfs databases data lake then external tools storage then you can see gpt for all which which we actually kind of discussed here so you can see like here uh, langchain.llm import gpt for all so here here also we can actually load that model and you can kind of uh, use it readily so all these provisions are there inside uh, langchain and for this tutorial i am going to use some custom components from langchain so one is this uh, csv loader so let me just go ahead and load it and then we can explain one by one so first of all i am going to load this file marvel data store marvel data store is having a columns uh, sentence so you can actually specify the column also here in this langchain csv loader component so once you load it then we can actually uh, so it creates that kind of uh, that value and then we can load this data and this kind of stores the entire data in the document format actually so you can see like it is list of docs langchain.schema.doc object actually so it's ideally ideally the way langchain kind of uh, stores the data so we just have to convert that into the document format so that it's, it can process so similarly you can convert every, anything like you can convert your text then for pdf we have another different set of plugins actually in this um, lang chain and then like you can we can use pretty much uh, any form of data you can actually load that data and it has that object basically to store the data and now we use something called recursive character text splitter so this is nothing but we are just splitting the data uh, into different chunks because we know like it can't process all of the data together so first of all the data is actually like uh, in so if you see the data is already in like different rows and each row contains only few characters few uh, tokens or like so first of all it's actually divided but let's say if you are further dividing using chunk size 500 it even actually do it and then you can actually see like this function has other attributes as well you can uh, give some other arguments also like you can actually see like different features are there in this one so i'm giving chunk size 500 by default and then um, yeah let's let's run this and so now text split dot split documents of data so it's going to split actually and now the all splits contain 65 documents inside so basically there was some maybe it is over 500 tokens so it kind of it's it's recursive character text splitter so like you can use any like it's not a mandated stuff whether we need to use it in this format but it ideally it's like we just we are just assuring like it's not going beyond a certain limit so that our model cannot actually perform but if you are using large language models you don't have to worry like it has like if you if it's very big model then you can use 8k tokens 2k tokens 2k 8k then open ai's model has large token size but yeah like this a small model right so we are just using some small window so next we are actually loading chroma and then uh, we are actually going to load gpt for all embeddings so let's run this before that 
uh, I forgot to tell to install the GPT-4 library. So first of all, you have to install this GPT-4 all library. Just pip install, and then using that we can actually load these models. Okay. So as I mentioned, the models should actually go and sit inside this folder then only this stuff will actually work because it is automatically loading the model just like how any hugging face or um, uh, sentence transform models load it from our cache memory similar to this we also need to put this model here so we can simply download the model and keep it there and it will automatically load it from there so now this is the next uh, so this is the plugin actually like the chroma and it's from uh, it's actually calling from the data which we are given and then the embedding so by default it is actually taking the embedding so when we run this it will actually tell so found model file it so by default it is this embedding model it actually created the vector store now I'm going to ask a question what is the relation between Thor and Frigga so Frigga is Thor's mother and uh, if we ask a question and then uh, so here uh, it's actually doing a similarity search so let's see what exactly is the similarity search so it's nothing but the dot product actually just like how we have it in uh, sentence word or any other uh, algorithm where we have this uh, dot product and then basically this uh, cosine similarity concept so basically we are just checking the similarity of two embeddings based on that we will get the output so here there is a parameter called k so k is equal to we can give number so right now given one if we if i give five then top five items will actually come sorted so right now i'm actually giving only one okay let's give it like uh, instead of one we can give five by default it is actually four so here i'm giving it as five and then it so it's it's pretty fast actually and uh, so doc x will be 5 because we are giving now if i give doc x dot so the object will be like this ideally so doc x will contain the output so you can see doc x actually contains 5 so it changes the document object like we can actually see what is output so you can see here document page content sentences the relationship between thor and his mother friga is one of the warmth love and guidance free gas wisdom and maternal okay somewhere it may be mentioned based on the data so let's run this uh, page content and see whether yeah and remind most responsibilities as both a god and a son so this is the data which is actually talking about relation between Thor and Frigga so Maybe it's like relation between Thor and his mother Frigga. Okay, let's give some other question. Um, Thor has any relationship So let's see whether it will kind of pull Relationship between Thor. Okay, so basically relationship that word is there. Okay, so let's say um, Romantic relationship. Okay, Jane Foster model woman Thor's love interest plays a similar role. So it actually, yeah, her relationship with Thor brings a human element of mystical. Okay, so here uh, romantic is not there, but maybe Thor's love interest. Yeah, that's that's the reason why. It actually picked up this content so it's doing a pretty good job like in extracting the data based on the question which we are giving and yeah it's, it's pretty good actually <laughs> i would say without much hustle we are getting this level of efficiency so this is pretty amazing i, I guess you you can actually try it out in your applications so so now let's see how we can build a custom streamlit app and uh, i've already created that app actually so i just copy pasted all the content from this file and i just gave the title as marvel boat it's more like thor's 
uh, information mostly but still i am giving it as marvel boat and then i am giving the okay recursive text splitter then all the other informations vector store and then i am giving a text input area where user can actually ask a text and if the question is there then we are giving uh, okay so we have vector similarity search and i'm also uh, splitting the content actually here because uh, when i'm giving page con content it is kind of giving me this output so ideally it's not a good practice but i think it's fine so here i'm giving just so basically it's the column name which is coming ideally so if i just split here then i'll get then the last item okay so we'll get the output ideally. so this is the this is the bot this is the app actually and let's see what is output so um, i've already run run the app actually so um, so we just have to give streamlit run app.py and then we will be getting this app like here like this so yeah i've already given some question so store has any special relationship so it's talking about spin of characters valkyrie okay Thor's weapon should either return Mjolnir or Stormbreaker. So it's a pretty straightforward bot actually, where we are just asking a question and then it will return the output. Usually it shouldn't take this much time. Okay, let me just refresh the app. Okay, I'll do one thing. I'll just create a new app. Streamlit run app dot So who is Thor Odinson? Okay, he's a Asgardian god of thunder. Okay, so Thor and Loki. Loki is Thor's adoptive brother. Okay, nice. It's pretty fast. Thor's weapon. Ordinary. it's really good it's really good actually because uh, it's pretty fast and it's giving me most accurate match output actually so it's it's pretty nice i would highly recommend using this information retrieval mechanism using this these components actually which because it's pretty like from the output which we are getting at this moment it's pretty good so so i would suggest you guys try it out and let me know if there is any questions so have a nice day guys, thank you.